Hi everyone, Jane here from jennyandteddy.com. So in this video, we are going to make something fun for the Halloween and they are quick and easy. I hope you guys know already, you can guess what it is. It's called a cat ear headband. This cat ear headband is um beginner friendly as always. All you need is single crochet stitch. The construction of the cat ear headband. First, we um, cover the plastic headband with crocheting, and then we will make the outer ear and the inner ear separate, and then we will sewing. And after we get all the pieces already, we will attach them by sewing. That's all. I hope you can enjoy the tutorial and let's get started. Before we start, you can get a free writing pattern on my blog with a step-by-step -step detailed photo tutorial. I will put the link in the description below. And you can also follow me on the Instagram to see the new pattern update. Okay, guys, so what you will need is a crochet hook size, um, 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle, stitch marker, and contrasting color yarn if you don't like stitch marker, a pair of scissors, measuring tape, and a plastic headband. The plastic headband that I use is the thickness is about one inch thick, and. Uh, Yarn that I use is a paint box Simply Alan yarn. You can use any brand. It's um, that have a hundred percent acrylic and a four medium weight. So you can use any brand of yarn that have um, four medium weight with the acrylic content because the acrylic yarn will holding the shape of the um, um, cat ear stick up beautifully and I use two color the darker color is the, for the outer ear and the, the lighter color is for the inner ear of the cat so let's get started So we will start by covering up the um, plastic headband with the with the yarn crocheting. So the foundation chain, we will start a foundation chain that um, have the length that match the um, plastic headband from here to the other end here. So we will start with the slip knot. And then chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So after I got ten chain, I will um, make them measure them. So you will keep going until um, you have the um, at the end here. I will go off the camera and meet you at the end here with the foundation chain. Um, now I got a foundation chain, it's about 50 chain. The foundation chain I got is will be matching the length of the plastic headband. So um, the number of the foundation chain, it will be different depending on your um, stitch tension if you crochet loosely you will have less foundation chain if you crochet tight i mean your this tension is small and you will have more foundation chain so you will be adjust increase or decrease the foundation chain that will matching the length of the um the plastic headband and this one it will be stretched so I got is about 50 chain that will be fine for the headband 
so this one is city chain and we will start on um brow one brow one brow one from brow one to brow four we will work from um from from here to the end and then go back to the other side around so on brow one I will switch up the other color because I want them to give I want to give them a little bit fancy you can also use the same color so I change to the other color so on brow one we will do single crochet in each chain across do single crochet in each chain across keep going making single crochet So you will keep going making single crochet until the last chain on this side. The last chain on this side we will do one single crochet, chain one and one single crochet all in the same chain. And I will be waiting for you at the last chain here and we will do it together. Now I am at the last chain. In the last chain we make one single crochet chain one and one single crochet all in the same chain. And we will put the stitch marker on the chain one that we just made. Chain one. Here. Then we will go back to do single crochet on the other side here. So go back to do single crochet on the other side. One single crochet. One single crochet. Keep making one single crochet. until the last stitch on the last chain and the last chain we will do um, single crochet chain one and single crochet all in the same chain yeah I will meet you at the end here we will do it together now I am at the last chain the last chain on the last stitch you will make one single crochet chain one and one single crochet all in the same chain and we put stitch marker in on the chain one that we just made so we did here and the other side we did here so we will keep repeating row um row one until um row um row four so at the end you will do um single crochet chain one and single crochet in the chain one space from the previous row and you will keep going making single crochet and when you go to the other end you will do the same in the chain space from the previous row you're making single crochet chain one and single crochet and single crochet along here repeating row one until um, row four or until you have enough 
thick net that will be um, cover cover the cover the um, the headband yeah so I will meet you there when I have at um, raffle I just finished um, round one, two, three, about round three, and we will leave the long tail for sewing. Now we are going to cover up the um, the headband with the plastic headband with this one so it cover up like this so use the yarn needle So now I finished the uh, cover up the headband already. On the next one, we will do the outer ear of the cat together. And now we are going to make the outer ear of the cat ear. The outer ear, we will start with the magic adjustable loop or the magic ring by um, wrap around your finger, wrap the yarn around your finger two times, insert your crochet hook underneath and draw the loop and then chain one and then we will make um, four single crochet in the ring one, two, three, four, after we have four single crochet in the ring, one, two, three, four, we will pull the yarn tail to cross the gap. And don't worry about it, this one. And we will um, use the contrasting color yarn to be the marker. So this is the row one. On row two, I mean on row two. We will keep continue working in round. We not join the round. We will do in spiral. So on round two, we will do uh, two single crochet in each stitch around. So we on um, round one, we have four stitch already. So on round two, in the total of the stitch count will be um, eight stitch. So we will do two single crochet in each stitch, one single, and two single crochet. On the next stitch, we do two single crochet, one and two. On the next stitch, we do two single crochet, one and two. On the next stitch, we do two single crochet, one and two. So in the total, we will have eight stitch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on row, 
I mean on round three, we will make single crochet in each stitch around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. The total of the stitch count of brow three will be eight stitch, and you can see the um the point the pointing of the cat ear is start to coming I, and I will measure up my um my side of the cat ear so it would be about one inch on um round three one inch and one inch so on we will start on um, round 4 together next. On, um, we will start on round 4. Remember we not join the round, we will keep continue to work in spiral. On round 4, on the first stitch we make single crochet. On the next stitch we make 2 single crochet, 1 and 2. So on the first stitch we make one single crochet on the next stitch we make two single crochet and we will keep repeating this by on the first stitch we make one single crochet on the next stitch we make two single crochet and I will meet you at the end of round four the total of the stitch count will be 12 stitch Now I am at the end of round 4. The total stitch count will be 12 stitch. On round 5, round 5 we will do um, 2 single crochet in each stitch around. 1 and 2. So in each stitch we will do 2 single crochet. 1 and 2. 1 and 2. On the next one, one and two. Keep going. At the end, you will have um, 24 stitch. I will meet you at the end of round five. I'm now at the end of round five. In the total stitch count of round five will be 24 stitch. On round six, seven, 8, 9, 10, and 11. From round 6 to 11, we will do um, single crochet. So just keep doing single crochet. Single crochet in each stitch around. From round 6 to round, round um, 11. So I will keep making single crochet in each stitch around. At the end of the round, we not join the round. We keep in spiral and use the contrasting color yarn to be the marker. So I will keep making single crochet in each stitch around and repeat row five. So, I'm oh sorry, repeat um, row six. Row after row until row 11, just keep making single crochet and I will meet you at the end of row 11, I mean row 11. I'm now finished at um, row, row 11, so I will count it with you 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and I will measure up my um, cat ear is about 4, four inch and this one three and a half 
and the height will be um, 3 inch so you make two of this one one and two and on the next one we will make the inner ear together Now we are going to make the inner ear of the cat ear. We will start with the slip knot and then chain 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then on row 1, we will do single crochet in the next chain from the hook on this one one single crochet and repeat making single crochet in each chain across in the total you will have um, seven stitch six seven and on row two so we will um, on row two we at the end we will turn we are not doing a chain we will just turn turn your work and then we will start to do decreasing by um, turning turning your work we not chain at the end it will be decreasing without um, do, do the single crochet decrease I mean when at the end we turn your work we're not chaining turn your work and then we will do um, single crochet in the next chain from the hook so this one we not we not cutting we do this one so one two single crochet three four five and six at the end of row two we turn your work at the end of every row we we not we will turn your work we not do the chain turn your work and then you will make a single crochet in the next stitch from the hook this one this one is is not cow we cow this stitch so we do it will be decreased automatically one single crochet two three four and five and we keep showing you five and then at the end we turn your work turn your work and do single crochet in the next chain from the hook or next stitch from the hook this stitch single crochet one two three four five and four we will do decreasing until we have one stitch left so four already in the next Row, we turn your work, we're not chaining, turn your work, and we do single crochet in the next stitch from the hook. This one is the next stitch here, next stitch one, two, three, at the end, turn your work. And we do single crochet in the next stitch. One, two, and the end turn your work. And we do single crochet in the next stitch. One single crochet. So now we finish. And we will um, leave long tail to, for sewing for attach the inner ear to the outer ear of the cat. So we leave long table sewing and 
I will measure up my um, inner ear for you. Uh, I got about two inch, two inch wide this way and about two inch this way. So we make two of this one, two of this, and we will be ready to assemble the inner ear and the outer ear together on the next clip. Here we are now, the inner ear and the outer ear. And I use the yarn needle for sewing. We leave the long tail for sewing already. And we press it in the middle and start to um, stitching up. So you can hide all your yarn tail in the inside the cat ear. And here we are, I'm done. And we will do the same for the other one. Um, now I finished the uh, sewing up, attached the um, inner ear to the outer ear of the cat ear and we are going to do the assemble, attached the cat ear to the headband so you can see the headband here and just make the position the how you like it maybe here, um, okay I think it will be here be fine. Here, okay. And we will cross up, cross up the gap here. I just do it quickly. After we cross up the gap and we will um, attach the uh, make attach the cat ear. Um, now I have finished one side already and we will do the same for the other side and so here we are I finished and had the ear already so you can see and I hope you guys like the tutorial and thank you so much for watching I love you all and appreciate your time if you make one please tag me on instagram i would love to see your creation have a good day bye